Hi everyone, it's Liesl. I'd like to share a Tsunami Rose design team project with you today. I made a soft cover envelope junk journal using her Hummingbird stiggies and uh, the journal measures 7 by 5 approximately. It has one signature and I coloured some seam binding with distress inks to match the colour that I used on the cover. These digis are so beautiful that I decided to fussy cut some of them and use them on the cover of the journal and also here and there inside. Uh, this is what it looks like. They really are quite, quite beautiful. Yeah. And although it took a while, I watched a movie while I did my fussy cutting and it wasn't quite as bad as I thought it might be. So if we go in, this is what the front cover looks like. When I made the cover for the journal, I used PVA glue to attach the brown packing paper to the envelope that I was using. And it's given the cover a bit more strength and structure so I quite like that and we'll probably do that again. On the inside I used some of Daisy's beautiful digis that already have lines on them um, so that one could write what the journal is about or thoughts or if it's a gift uh, just who it's to and from and so on. I also didn't put a title on the journal. Hummingbirds are such cheerful happy birds to me, then I thought that Joy might be a really nice title, but there's uh, this journal is going to be for a giveaway, so I decided to leave it up to the winner. Oh, that's just beautiful. Here you can see some more of the fussy cutting that I did, and I just attached it to an envelope, which is open on the side to make a pocket, and inside... I shrunk down one of Daisy's pages and put that in there and it looks so pretty peeking through the window. On this side I used one of her postcard images as a pocket and tea dyed a shipping tag with red tea or rooibos. And then I used her Things to Do printables and I cut the heading off and attached that to the tag just to make it pretty and once again just for a little thought or a specific um, message that one might want to put on the tag I thought that worked out rather nicely. So as you can see throughout I tea dyed everything and the, the red tea really came out very nicely um, there's quite a bit of really nice stamping as well here is a little greaseproof bag with another one of the tags that I glued one of Daisy's things to do notelets onto and again, a bit more fussy cutting. It really is amazing how beautiful these images are used just like this as well. I also made a little pocket there and some more stamping for writing. I really like the, the graphics that are behind the images that she's used to telegram bits of ephemera that go into this pocket which I just stamped some music paper and then a little bit of fussy cutting a little bird and here is another one of her images and I backed it with some book paper and then left this open so that I could stick a tag through. Lots of stamping for writing. That 
sounds like a contradiction in terms somehow. <laughs> this is the center of the signature and I've hidden the workings of the stitching inside and here is a little notelet that goes with the envelope. Really pretty, beautiful images. Some more lovely tea dyeing and another tuck type pocket. A beautiful postcard with a tag and uh, another bit of music paper with some more fussy cutting. Really, really love these hummingbirds. And uh, a few more bits of telegram ephemera. Other side of the shipping tag. Another one of the images backed with book paper and left open on the sides so I could slip the tag in there. Some grid paper and the other side of the brown envelope that we saw in the front with more of the decorated tags and a postcard. And again, the same on this side. These images are <laughs> really pretty. I know I've said it, but it's so true. And that's the, the back of the signature. And then at the back, I have put a little hinge clip and some of her sheets of things to do. I shrunk them down a little bit so that they would fit into the journal. There we go. And that's it. This journal, as I said, is going to be part of a giveaway. Daisy very kindly offered two vouchers to her shop, Tsunami Rose, when she heard that I was going to use this journal as a giveaway. So please pop over to my Instagram if you're interested and sign up. Um, and uh, good luck. As always, thank you for watching. Bye.